Hello, Gamer Gnome is back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob with the reworked life fruit, unlock all its powers, and become pro. With the actor slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. On our previous video, I've seen lots of comments requesting the light fruit unawakened new V1 rework. So, guys, here it is. One more comment also caught my eye. Guys, he is asking why am I not using the fountain strat? So guys, here you go. At level 1, we are heading to the fountain city, not level 10, not level 15, but level 1. And start defeating the Gallic Pirates. As I want you to take note of the damage. That's 22, right? So my question to all of you, can you guess how many seconds will it take me to defeat the Gallic Pirates? So guys, this is times 8 speed. So now you have the time to comment it in the comment section. Can you guess it? One minute, two minutes, three minutes. Guys, for those who answered two minutes, you are correct. For two minutes of doing left clicks with the Gallic Pirate, we earned 30 mastery and 22 levels. So guys, for the stats, okay, put all the stats on your Black Roots. In Tagalog, eh, di natuto kayo sa akin ngayon. <laughs> why, ga why gamer na? Why Black Roots? Because we want to increase our damage. Check that out, 75 from 22, right? We don't need to worry about melee and defense because we are not getting hit. So we're gonna grind here until level 55. Also, we've unlocked two new skills, the X and the F skill. This is the light flight. Don't worry, we're gonna use the barrage of the light on the next island, the part village. And our target is Bobby the Clown. I'm just gonna show you the skill, but we won't be using it. Why? Because... Um, the damage is not that high and this first skill, the light ray, has a knockback effect which I really don't like. Okay, so focus on doing left clicks and dash. I'm gonna show it to you guys. Okay, so here we go. Just use your left clicks, dash, there you go. There you go guys, as you can see. The damage is faster, don't forget to dodge to the side to dodge his skills and that's it guys. We're only going to level up here 5 times. And when we reach level 60, this is what I'm talking about. Left click dash, left click dash, and that's it. So level 60, we are heading to the desert. And check this out. Our first target is the desert bandits. And the best strategy here is only to use your left clicks or M1. And also, not just that, you need to defeat your enemies one at a time. Gamer no why? Because by doing this strategy, you won't need to wait for the mobs to spawn. Check this out. I'm just defeating them continuously. There you go. So Gamer Nom, what if I lure four at a time and defeat them using my skills? I'm gonna show it to you guys. This one, see that? No! They got knocked back. No! Which means you are wasting precious seconds. And then after killing all four of them, you're gonna need to wait for them to spawn. So again, focus on using your left clicks. Guys, that's straight from the horse's mouth. Next up at level 75, Desert Officers. Same strategy, use your left clicks. And that's it. Honestly, the first skill is not that good for grinding unless you use it to last hit your enemy. Okay, so at level 90, we are leaving this area. Next up, the Frozen Village. Our target is the Snow Bandits. Again, we're gonna use our left clicks because again, elemental effect. Light fruit is a logia fruit which means if your enemy doesn't have haki, they cannot damage you. You will unlock your fourth skill in this area, the reflection kick. I said, this skill really looks good but again, you will be knocking back your enemies which is not really good for grinding. Okay, so at level 105, you can start defeating the yeti. Guys, check my stats. Kinda focus on the melee and the blast fruits because we won't be getting hit by these mobs because we are really good. On dashing so for our strategy guys I don't suggest using your skills again because you cannot one hit this boss so you will go flying around using your skills so I suggest use your left clicks and dash check this out and once he uses his skill you can use your skills because again if they're casting their skill they won't get knocked back okay okay so that's it left clicks left clicks dash there you go when he's using a skill use your own skills Okay, I hope that's clear. Oh, we get damage there. So target level here is 130. After that, next island is the Marine Fortress. So guys, don't forget to buy the Black Cape or the Dark Cape. <laughs> so Vice Admiral, technique here. 
lure him, server hop, and wall strat. Our target is level 220. Guys, you will get hit once because of his long range. And after that, there you go. Jump here and left clicks. That's it, guys. You don't need to use your skills. Just left clicks. Again, our target level here is level 220. Sorry, 220. Okay. After that, prison. Okay, same strategy. Lure the warden. Wall strat. Left clicks. 230. You're gonna start defeating the chief warden. And yes, you're gonna do the same. Or you're gonna use the same strategy. Oh, what's that? Oh, shout out to AD whatever. <laughs> Flexor. Okay, there you go. Chief warden. Next is Swan at 240. And good news, we will be unlocking our final skill. The Sky Beam Barrage. So we're gonna use it now. There you go. Boom. Uh, better effects. Okay, guys. Do server hop again. Do wall strat. Target level is 350. After this, next island is the Magma Village. Target Magma Admiral. So this will be fast. We unlock all our skills. And keep on defeating him to avenge Ace. Akainu, I really hate you, okay? <laughs> Next up, the underwater city. Target mob is the fishman lord. The boss in this island, so lure him. Wait for him to go near the wall and use your skills and left clicks. Guys, this is really fast. I mean, using this fruit is really fast. For grinding in the first sea. I th oh, another... What item is that, guys? Is that a CDK? One more tip. Avoid fighting in the first sea. You won't gain, gain anything from that. Also, if you get the fruit that you want, focus on it. Don't try spinning other fruits. And that's it. So again, by doing server hop, we will level up fast until level 500. Next up, the Skylands. And the target is the Whisper. Guys, listen. This is our strategy. You can use your X and V skill. Avoid using your Z and C skill here. Because again, you will knock back your enemy. And for the strategy, after he uses cannon, you can use your left clicks for additional damage. Okay? That's it. Again, don't use your Z and C skill. The target here is 637. Why? Because on the next island, the Fountain City, you will be immune to the Galley Pirates. So Gamer what is the fastest way to grind them? Guys, I'm gonna show it to you. If you use the Lure Strat, you're gonna Lure 4, right? Use all your skills. There you go. Again, I told you this is not the fastest, but I'm just showing it to you as proof. So you're gonna wait for them to spawn, right? Again. As you can see, you're waiting, you're waiting. Okay, there you go. After that. Okay. Actually, not bad. I think it took us like 50 plus seconds to defeat or finish a quest. 53 seconds. But guys, if you're just gonna use your left clicks again, there you go. Defeat one at a time. You don't need to wait for them to spawn. Okay. Actually, you're gonna wait uh, for just two seconds. So guys, it took me 30 seconds to finish one quest. So again, this is the clear winner. Faster grinding. So guys, you're gonna grind until you reach level 700 here. We're gonna skip the cyborg because again, it's harder compared to these mobs. So again guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Next up, the magma fruit. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. And GamerNom out for the out.